It's giving up my life to God that really puts my life in control. And that is today's Morning Moxie. Welcome to the Morning Moxie Show. I am your host, Alicia Sharp. And if you will please excuse my voice, um, I have caught a little cold and I it all went straight to my voice. So I apologize. I won't talk much for these next couple episodes. But um, today we have Testimony Tuesday and it is Clayton Kershaw and he is a major league pitcher. And he is just very outspoken about the Lord and what God has done in his life and in his family. Here's Clayton. When you're out there in the heat of the moment and you're pitching, it's a big situation. You're saying, don't throw a ball. Don't give up a hit. Don't walk this guy. The harder you want to control something, the more it gets out of your control. And you want to hit the outside corner with the pitch. If you, all you think about is, I'm gonna hit that, aim it right there, hit it right there. That's the last place it's gonna go. But when you have in the back of your mind where you're supposed to throw it, and then just say, I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can right at that glove, and just say that, it'll be around there more often than not. Um, if you've done the preparation and the mechanics of everything is there, it's almost the same in life. Like the more you try and grip control your life, the more God's gonna, you know, untangle that from you. He's gonna make things go to where you have to rely on Him. I was just so worried. I was so worried all the time. My parents got divorced when I was 10. I had so much anxiety about my own life. If there was something that needed to get done, I'd rather do it myself than let other people do it for me. You know, just, just stuff that I couldn't control, that I was worried about. My mom and I were trying to figure out how college was going to be a feasible option for us. Uh, you know, it's going to be so expensive, I can't afford to do that. I didn't know what to do on my own. When I kind of relinquished all control of my life um, was the day I got drafted. Um, that, that was life-changing. That was something that, you know, even talking about now chokes me up just because it's just amazing the providence God had in my life. God was there the whole time. I just didn't bother to look. I never thought in a million years I'd ever get to play professional baseball, get to play in the major leagues, get to live out my dream. Since I was a kid, that's all I ever wanted to do. But, you know, at the same time, if you're playing baseball, why are you playing baseball? Is it to, to have good success on the field and be a Hall of Famer or whatever it is? Sure, that's, that's everybody's goal. But then what? For me, it's about the legacy you leave off the field. It's about how many people can I affect through the platform that he gave me. I got to go to Africa last year with my wife, Ellen. She's been working with some kids over there that she's gotten to go back and see. One particularly has uh, touched her heart, and her name is Hope. And uh, she's a double orphan. Both her parents have died from AIDS. You see the, the cloud in her eyes, you know, she's scared. Ellen just gave the quickest version of uh, the good news that she possibly could. And that's all it takes for people in Zambia. It's like they've been waiting their whole lives for somebody just to tell them. And uh, it changed my life. We just started a home called Hope's Home and uh, in honor of Hope, this little girl. And uh, we just, uh, it's gonna be an orphanage for about 12 kids and we just bought the land for it. And uh, yeah, hopefully within the next year, we'll see the orphanage built and we'll see the kids put in uh, the home. We're just an avenue, you know, we're just doing the part that God gave us. You can't think, oh yeah, we can change this whole country ourselves. No, but God can. And uh, one, more, one more reason to let go of control. Playing for the Dodgers in LA is just saying that. It's, it's, it's amazing, it's ridiculous. The prayer I say before I go out there and pitch is, you know, not God, you know, let me win today, or God, you know, help me pitch good. It's, you know, God, just be with me. With all the different people and different cultures and different religions, you can kind of just, just kind of become one, you know, one with the crowd. 
you got to keep reminding yourself that you're supposed to stand out and you're supposed to be different and you're supposed to act boldly in your faith. It's definitely not easy, not a great conversation starter sometimes, but uh, you know, it, it's worth the fight. Whether it be pitching on a baseball mound or living my life outside of the baseball field, it's uh, giving up my life to God that really puts my life in control. My name is Clayton Kershaw, and I am second. Well, that was Clayton Kershaw, and you can find that video on YouTube if you search under I am second Clayton Kershaw. Just wanted to shout out a special thanks to I Am Second. Um, They have some amazing testimonies over there. So if you ever get a chance, go over there and check out their website. You'll find some great stuff. Um, People you'd never think uh, would be on there or on there sharing their faith about what Jesus has done for them. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. God bless. God bless.